everyone. This is Kim Beasley, the Social Media Two Coach. And I'm here today interviewing Dan Safko. He is the video marketing expert that you want to not only listen to, but that you want to connect to. Welcome, Dan. Hey, Kim. How are you today? I'm doing great. And how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you. Awesome. So, you know, I invited you on the show because all of the great tips that you have shared with me about video marketing has helped my videos on YouTube to get first page results. And I said, okay, it's time for me to share my little secret. Dan, <laughs> so tell everyone who are you? Well, my name is Dan Safko. I have uh, a video blog called Video Marketing Minute. And my expertise or my gift that I like to share is breaking down video marketing into simple but effective tactics and strategies. And I teach that through my blog and as a trainer at something called the Ultimate Internet Boot Camp. Ooh, we'll have to get into that later about the Ultimate Internet Boot Camp. So right now, I want to know where do you do the, the training, the teaching? You shared how you have your website, but do you just do it through your website? I do it through my website. I'm about to launch an ebook that uh, that aggregates everything that I've learned over the last uh, three years. I also teach a video marketing workshop here in Southern California, where I live here in my uh, my world headquarters that you see behind <laughs> me. And so I'm I'm branching off into all uh, all phases of uh, of learning modalities, whether it be live. Uh, whether it be uh, text-based and, and written formats uh, or, uh, of course, the best way to teach video is via video and I'm working on a uh, membership site that I'll probably launch next month as well. Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> I'm excited because I've been one of your beta testers and uh, using the tips that you've already shared with us and I'm just really excited that you're launching a membership website. So why are, why do you do this? Well, I, I love teaching. I love learning. My uh, my mantra, my purpose is I help leaders lead. I help yeah I help leaders lead and I help learners learn. And I did this as a vendor, as a behind the scenes kind of guy for many years. I had clients like Mark Victor Hansen, Brian Tracy, uh, T. Harv Eker, and I still do it. I create uh, I hate I create physical products. Uh, for them, but through that experience and through attending uh, seminars and being mentored by people like Alex Mondosian, I've come out from behind the scenes and now put myself as forward in the scenes with video as uh, one possibly can. So I'm enjoying the journey and, and look forward to doing uh, more exciting things and in, in teaching people uh, in 2012. Wow, you know, you mentioned you know, uh, Ultimate Internet Boot Camp. What exactly is that and what do you do when you are teaching video marketing there? It's a five-day workshop where people basically go from uh, zero to having a fully functional website that they can monetize so that your organization is click and be free and they put on the workshops and uh, Alex Mondosian is the chief trainer along with uh, Andrew Locke and some other internet marketers and I simply uh, teach a 90-minute portion in the midst of that week in helping people uh, create their first video in support of their website launch. Wow. Now, that sounds like it's a lot to do, but do they get overwhelmed? Does everybody monetize? Yeah, everybody monetizes by the uh, end of the week, even if it's just making their first dollar. And as Alex says, that's a difference between uh, being an amateur and going pro, so they make sure everybody goes pro before they, they leave the seminar. Now, as part of the seminar, you, you say you do video marketing. Is it something that you just teach from the stage and, and they learn that way? Yes, well, it, uh, it primarily happens from the stage, so I, I summarize my best uh, strategies and practices in, uh, in about an hour and then we move to a couple of exercises. Everybody is invited to bring their own video cameras and we make sure that they uh, have a hands-on lesson in actual uh, video and content creation before they leave and uh, actually upload their first video uh, that 
that evening, the evening that oh, I wow. present in the afternoon, and that evening they come back and uh, create their first video. Now, are these people who are technically inclined that you're talking about doing, Sometimes. who are creating videos and uploading them to YouTube? The average seminar, or I should say all of the seminars, have, an, have between 200 and 1,000 people at them. So you get a, a, a very diverse group of people in all the seminars, but we boil it down to the lowest common denominators because we do know that there'll be uh, beginners in the room. So we want to make sure that everybody can benefit by the content and at least uh, get their website up, get their video up. And we do have advanced strategies as well for the people that are a little more uh, web savvy. Now, I'm, I was asking you all these questions for a reason, because if you can do it for this organization, is this something you can actually go into other organizations that have business owners um, where you can teach them video marketing? Yeah, absolutely, because uh, I've had to craft my content as kind of a one-size-fits-all. So uh, any kind of business can benefit from the video marketing teachings that I offer. I call it Video Marketing Simplified. Uh, so if you simply buy the ebook, there's a lot of content in there that uh, you'll be able to leverage. And if somebody works with me as a coach, uh, or me as a coach or a consultant, I can tailor some things specific to their business or niche. Okay, so let's back up a little bit and let's define what video marketing is so that those who are watching this video will understand what exactly makes up video marketing? Video marketing is leveraging online video. So it's, it's on page, which would be videos on your website, and it's off page, which would be videos uh, that are outside of your website, but hopefully point to your website and drive, drive traffic to it. And the best example of, of offline video marketing, I'm sorry, off page video marketing would be YouTube. Awesome, awesome. Now, <laughs> I am not a, a person who really, in, well, I wasn't a person who enjoyed being in front of the camera. I was always behind the camera. But because of, uh, of your encouragement and, and, and your prompting, it made me get in front of the camera and it has given me a peace and ease. Is that something that uh, people get when they work with you uh, with with learning video marketing? Yeah, I've, I've been through the same thing, Kim. I did not feel comfortable in front of the camera, and so I had to overcome that challenge. I think it's a challenge for most people. It's just a foreign thing to do, and I think once people uh, kind of get through it and get to the point like we are now where you're pretty comfortable with it, you wondered what the big deal was before, but it's just <laughs> giving, getting over that hump, and it really is just a matter of doing it and the more you do it uh, you know the, the first video you do will be uh, infinitely difficult at least in your head probably not in reality the second video will be twice as easy the third video will be twice as easy as the second video and before you know it it's it's effortless it's just a matter of turning on the camera I tell the story uh, many times because I was practicing perfection not progress at my first video my first two-minute video took me about four hours to complete <laughs> and and my most, my most recent two-minute video took me about two minutes to complete. So you see, you can see how that works. I love that. You know, I love the fact that as an expert, you're showing how you can start somewhere and you can grow into the expert status. That, that is very important. And when you're talking about video marketing, for 2012, many businesses are looking at ways that they can market their business online. Can you share how this can be in, uh, included in their business plan or their business marketing online? Yeah, sure. Everybody's goal online is to be on the first page of Google for their keywords. And research indicates that uh, video is 53, not one, not two, but 53 times more likely to land you on page one. If you, if you properly optimize your video. It's not just enough to create a video, but you have to have optimized titles, descriptions, tags, the kind of things that appear above and below the video in YouTube. And so you have to learn to do that so you can beat your competition. Google loves to seed videos on the first page 
of their search results. So that's why it's kind of like a, a shortcut or the golden ticket because you get to pass all those people that maybe have spent thousands of dollars to be on page one of Google or have spent hundreds of hours to learn proper search engine optimization techniques and you got you get to go to the front of the line just because you did a video and you learned how to optimize it with uh, the keywords and descriptions. I love it. I love it because I have seen the results firsthand and all the, all the tips and tricks to do this you teach this in your training, am I correct? Yeah, um, I don't get so hung up on video production uh, uh, and this is a great example of that. It's just, it's just you and I talking. Now we probably both added a, a little bit of light at our end to enhance it and you've got that great graphic at the bottom uh, of <laughs> yours that uh, is good for branding. But uh, you know because we started this meeting late that I literally turned on the camera uh, uh, two minutes before we, we, we were to begin and, and something went wonky at my end. It was probably user error. But uh, <laughs> you don't need to, to over prepare. You don't need to over produce. Once you have the video, then that's where it, uh, it, you're really separated from your competition. If you do know how to optimize the video, a low quality video, and I'm talking quality and production values, not the great content that we're delivering, but a low quality video can easily outrank a video that costs $10,000 to produce. So it's, it's not all about uh, fancy graphics and, and sound effects and, and, uh, and, and perfect uh, dialogue. I, I stuttered just then as I said it, uh, but we're not going to cut that out because we're not practicing perfection and our uh, our viewers, the people watching this, will get the same great benefits if they excuse our occasional grammar mishaps and our, our less than, than stellar lighting. That's not what it's about. It's about sharing your great content mm -hmm. with your potential customers. Wow. I, I love that you said that. It's not about perfection. It's about getting that content out there. Now, what are some of the common mistakes that new video marketers make? I would say uh, f having a, a content strategy and uh, that's a pretty easy fix that uh, if, you, if you just want to start making a series of videos just research the people or research the questions that are being asked in your niche so frequently asked questions if you just enter uh, Google into Google uh, and let's say your niche is beekeeping if you enter beekeeping and FAQs are frequently asked questions into Google, you'll get all types of questions being asked of beekeepers. Now, you'll probably find their answers, but you wouldn't want to use their answers because as an expert beekeeper, you probably have your own unique answers. So that's a great starting point for content. Make it about, make your videos about solutions because I think the number one mistake that people make is when they turn on that camera, they start talking about them. Don't talk about you. Talk about the needs of your your customers talk about uh, uh, the solutions that why they're going into Google into the first place because they need solutions so so keep it about them there's still an opportunity to make videos about you and maybe one out of every four or five can be uh, internal about you your business but make three or four out of five external about your clients business they need the answers that you have so so, so make 10 FAQs and answer them via video and you'll avoid that, uh, that first mistake. Not only will you avoid that mistake, but you'll have content. Let's say you, you want to uh, upload a video every week. If you just answer 10 frequently asked questions, you have seven weeks of content. And then wow. from a production mm -hmm. standpoint, I would say the biggest mistake is lighting. Now behind mm -hmm. my computer, I have a light. Um, it's still not perfect. You'll see I'm, I'm getting a little bit of reflection off my head. But uh, I, I always make sure that uh, we get uh, a little bit of lighting on our face uh, because we have to be happy with our videos. And if you don't light yourself a little properly by opening up a window or just adding a light in front of you, you will look all older. You will look sickly. And if you don't like the way you look, you're going to do fewer videos. So I always tell people when you're doing video, add at least one extra light in front of you uh, to fill out uh, those dark circles and those creases in your face that will make you look older. Wow. Loving it. Woo! <laughs>
these are awesome tips. People, if you're not right, have, if you don't have a pen and paper in hand, rewatch this video, check down all these tips because they all work. Now, uh, one last question for you, and then I'm going to open up the room in case someone is watching who wants to join us on G+. For someone who's new to video marketing, what would you recommend as a first step? I know you talked about some of the common mistakes. Um, what are some of the tools maybe that they would need to have in order to um, do uh, live, well, not live, but on the spot or remote uh, recordings? Well, a couple of quick tips. Uh, first, uh, w one for on-page, and that, again, is your website. Studies have shown that whenever there's a call to action, and a call to action can be a buy button or uh, a request for an email address, wherever you have a call, call to action, put a video right there, and your the response rate, or what we call the conversion rate, will increase anywhere from 20% uh, to 400%. It's been statistically proven that wherever there's a video, people take more action. Then the number one suggestion for off-page, again, this is anything that happens off your page. It could be Facebook, it could be YouTube, it could be uh, another site where you're, you're using video, like you're using uh, G Plus Hangouts right now. That's considered an off-page strategy. Uh, take a look at the YouTube Playbook. To find it, all you have to do is Google YouTube Playbook. It's a free download. It's about 85 pages, and it tells you everything that you need to know about optimizing Google. It was written by the people at Google, but it not only applies to Google. I'm sorry. Um, let's go back. Again, we're practicing progress, not perfection. <laughs> I meant to say. I meant to say the YouTube Playbook. It, so YouTube Playbook. So. It's written by the people at YouTube, and it gives you all the YouTube secrets for beating your competition on YouTube. And I say that because most of your competitors don't know about the YouTube playbook. They'll never find it. They'll never read it. And if you can, if you can read it and use all the suggestions that they give you, you will beat your competition on YouTube. And if you're beating them on YouTube, you'll be beating them on Google as well. So that's the YouTube playbook. Wow. I must make sure that I... Um take out that YouTube playbook. Okay, I, I, I will admit I have not looked at it, and so this is my challenge. This is my 2000, uh, 2012 January challenge to get the playbook out and read it and apply.